Sam here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 experiment. Welcome to another subscriber suggested FIFA 17 experiment. A lot of suggestions are coming through now and you guys are getting some cracking ideas. Also, I want to say I saw this suggestion simply because of how many likes that the comment got. So if you guys smash the likes on the comments, if you see ideas while you're down there commenting that you like, do leave a like on it. It does increase the chances of me picking that experiment and actually seeing that experiment. And I tried to read through as many comments as possible. This one just captured my eye simply because it was right at the top and it was it was just had a lot of likes on it pretty much. So I did want to say that before we jump into today's episode. While you are also leaving your suggestions in the comment section below, make sure you do leave likes on the one that you guys think should turn into videos. Today's idea is pretty simple. We've taken 20 teams outside of Europe and put them in the same league together. These are spanning across all sorts of nations from all sorts of continents. We've got Japanese teams, Australian teams, American teams, Colombian teams, South African teams. We've got all sorts of teams in here, but no one from Europe is allowed. This came from commenter Ahmed Obeid, and he said make a league with the best teams that don't play in Europe. So that's what we've done. However, I do want to say that it isn't technically the best teams. The way I selected these teams wasn't who is the best on FIFA, who is the best in real life. It was a bit of a mixture. Some of them are maybe the best in their league, and some of them are maybe the most well-known in their league. Some of them maybe I've seen in YouTube series before, you know what I mean? So I've sort of picked them based on different aspects. So don't take this as the best outside of Europe league. It's just teams that aren't in Europe. I just wanted a, a variety of countries represented uh, with certain teams. So it's not the best teams outside of Europe. Uh, it's just teams outside of Europe. Again, if you don't agree with some of the team picks, it's not meant to be the best of the best outside of Europe. But anyway, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like on the video and do subscribe if you're newer around here. And also thank you for the suggestion, Ahmed. And also if you guys want to keep suggesting in the comment section below, go ahead and do so. Let me know what you guys want to see in a future FIFA 17 experiment. And uh, there's a definitely good chance that they will turn into a video because right now I'm kind of feeding off your guys' ideas at the moment. I have my own ideas, but I've not really been doing them. So I'm, I'm kind of depending on you guys to pull through here there's a few ideas in the works that are subscriber suggested so if you guys keep doing that and i'll keep making the videos that you guys want to see without further ado let's take a look at the 20 teams that'll be in this league and let's see what nations are being represented okay so having a look at the team we have al hilal from saudi arabia we have two different americas one is from brazil one is from mexico i'm gonna guess that's athletic national but i could be wrong uh from colombia Boca Juniors, of course, from Argentina. Colo Colo uh, from Chile. Chivas Guadalajara from Mexico. Independent Medellin from Colombia. Kaiser Chiefs uh, from South Africa. LA Galaxy from the United States of America. Melbourne Victory, my local team from Australia. Orlando Pirates from South Africa as well. River Plate are from Argentina. Sangju Sangmu. Shout out to my favorite hashtag fat Asian, Sangju Sangmu from South Korea. If you don't know, B Monus is doing a series where he's sort of turned them into Portsmouth and China ruins football and all that jazz. So give him a quick shout out. If you want to check it out, I'll probably leave his channel in the description down below, but I'm sure most of you know who he is. Santos from Brazil, Sounders FC from the United States, Sydney FC from Australia, Tigres from Mexico. I think that's University de Chile, but I could be wrong obviously from uh, Chile. I don't know if I really had to expand on that one. And last but not least, the Urawa Reds from Japan. So as you can tell, a lot of nations represented, a lot of different teams through, you know, a decent spread of talent. Some of these teams are, I think like two, two and a half star teams. And Tigres is a four star team. So there's a nice range here. Tigres are actually the only four star team in this entire league. So you would expect them to be potentially winning this one. But there are a nice spread of teams here. There are some better and some worse. Like I said before, this isn't just based on the best teams outside of Europe. I just wanted a nice spread of teams. I wanted as many nations as possible represented. So I hope I did a good job representing as many people as I could. Without further ado, let's take a look at how this league stacks up halfway through the season. Let's take a look at who some of the early front runners are. Okay, so halfway through the season, it's actually Club America from Mexico who are 10 wins, seven draws, and two losses at the moment on 37 points. Two points ahead of their Mexican 
league mates, I guess. Chivas Guadalajara, who are two points behind them. Colo Colo, though, have the least losses so far in this league, representing Chile. They are currently on one loss and 34 points, just three points behind Club America, one point behind Chivas. I think the biggest surprise, though, is Sydney FC are in fourth. Do not ask me how they are in fourth. I don't know, because A-League teams are very low rated. Uh, so I don't know how exactly they're fourth. Tigres are in fifth with Atletico Nacional in sixth. But as you can see, going down the league, I would expect maybe Boca Juniors and River Plate, especially Boca. I'd expect them to be doing a little bit better. LA Galaxy, not really. Maybe Sounders. Sounders have a decent team, but again, they're probably not the best teams from America. And overall, there's, I mean, there are a few surprises. In 19th, we have my local team, Melbourne Victory. But in last, we have Sangju Sangbu. No wins, seven draws, 12 losses. Uh, and they're in seven points at the moment. So they are well and truly last. But it looks like right now, South America is dominating, as I would have expected. And... Uh, I mean, the surprise of Sydney FC are just in fourth. I don't know how they're in fourth, okay? Don't ask me how, I don't know. But I don't know. Let's take a look at who is going to end up winning this. Let's take a look at the end of the season. Okay, at the end of the season, what a tight finish this was. Chivas Guadalajara by a goal difference over Club America, the exact same record of 19 wins, 12 draws, and seven losses. But one more goal difference wins it for Chivas Guadalajara. To be fair though, if they scored one less goal and had the same goal difference, they still would have won uh, based on how many goals they'd scored because they were the better, the better attacking team. So what it came down to really um, was two goal difference, if you really want to get technical about it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Anyway, behind Chivas Guadalajara and Club America, there was Tigres. So the three Mexican teams at the top of the table, Tigres just one point behind, and if they got one point more, their goal difference would have been enough to win the league. So, geez, those three teams were very, very close. Boca Juniors with a really late run, um, they picked up fourth place, they picked up 66 points, and then Colo Colo and Atletico Nacional. By the way, if they're not Atletico Nacional, I'm sorry for calling them Atletico Nacional this whole fucking time. Anyway, they both ended up on 60 points. River Plate also with a decent uh, second half of the season. Sydney FC dropped all the way to 10th. That's still pretty impressive, to be honest. Like, that's better than what I thought either of the two Australian teams would do. Sydney FC picked up 10th. You got Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. I didn't talk about them. 8th and 9th. So the South African team is doing all right. Represented pretty well there, actually. And then you can keep going down the table. Down to Urawa Reds who got uh, 16th, which was decent. Uh, that's pretty impressive. LA Galaxy in 17th. Melbourne Victory in 18th. Sounders in 19th. And then Sangju Sangmu ended up getting four wins in the second half of the season to pick up 23 points. I'm surprised that the both uh, United States of America teams were that bad. I would have maybe expected them to be around like Al Hilal or, or Santos or around that, like around 12, 13, 14, especially Sounders. I think LA Galaxy seems a little bit worse in FIFA. I don't know. Um, but Sounders, I know, in the past couple of years have been a decent team with some good, you know, former European League players bringing them in. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, they've changed in the last, like, two or three years since they had a decent team. But I know that for sure they probably should have been better than Melbourne Victory. Come on. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not complaining. Melbourne Victory coming in 18th. I'm not complaining. That's better than what I thought they would do. In terms of the top goal scorers, Peralta for Club America was at the top with 20 goals. Pulido for Guadalajara was on 18 goals. And then Benedetto and Zacharia, or Zacharia, for uh, Boca Juniors and Universidad de Chile. There you go. Uh, both 16 goals apiece. But that is it. That is the end of today's experiment, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for the video suggestion. As I said at the start of the video, guys, if you guys want to put any suggestions for future FIFA 17 experiments, do leave them in the comment section below. It is Guadalajara who have taken out the best, well, not the best, but they've taken out the non-European league here. But it was the three Mexican teams that really dominated. It was Guadalajara, Club America, and Tigres in the top three. So they really dominated, and the Mexican League is very underrated in my opinion. I have watched a couple games from the Mexican League. I've watched Tigres a few times, so it's pretty fun. It's a pretty entertaining league. I would give it a chance if you guys are ever, if it's ever on. I mean, don't go out of your way to watch it, but if it's ever on, give it a chance, because um, the Liga MX is pretty good. But anyway, I'm not a salesman for the Liga MX, so I should probably stop talking about them. If you guys did enjoy this experiment, do leave a like on the video. It's very much appreciated. Your support has been absolutely fantastic over the past few videos, so if we can keep that going, that would be very much appreciated. Guys, but I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you did enjoy today's video. I hope you did have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.